Good morning guys, it's Doug and I am here in Baghdad, Iraq. And today I am going on an adventure with my friend Janet. We are here at the shared taxi station, which is quite a crazy kind of hectic place here in Baghdad. Our plan is to take a taxi to the city of Samara. It's going to be uh, a bit of an adventure. It's definitely a little more sketchy than the rest of Iraq. It is under the control of a militia, or as they call them here, the forces, which is not the Iraqi central government. We are also going uh, without our guides that we've been with for the rest of the trip. So I'm a little hesitant about my American passport, but at the same time, I'm a tourist. I can show them my YouTube channel and explain why we're going. So I think it's gonna be great. I hope all goes well. Taking you guys along for the ride. Let's go, yalla. Habibi. <laughs> Habibi. Uh, one? Huh. Shukran. Let's get some grape juice before we head out. Oh man, looks good. Shukran. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. I hope I don't get sick from this. It looks good. Clot, clot, clot. Very good. Very good. Kule <laughs> zain. So sweet. Love it. We're trying to figure out the price right now before we head out. Samara. Uh, it's a problem? Allah yeah. Nazan. Okay. 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 So it will be like probably $20 total. So it's 60000 30000 Okay. Return, he waits for us for like two hours. Cool, yeah. Okay. Let's go, yalla. Yalla. Wa salama. Okay. How are we feeling? That was pretty hectic. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I think we've got it pretty much sorted. I'm excited. Our driver doesn't speak really any English, so we've been using Google Translate and it's been a little tricky, but I think we're ready to go. And here we go. We're off on our way to Samara. So guys, just to give you a little more background on the situation in Samara, I mentioned it's controlled by a militia, or the more politically correct term here in Iraq, the forces. These groups, some of them emerged from the war, some of them emerged throughout the years. Uh, and they're all slightly different, but apparently there are six major powerful militias in Iraq in addition to the central government of the country. Some of them are allied with the central government, some of them are heavily, heavily allied with Iran and basically under their direct influence. It, it's strange, they're almost like political parties at this point, but they also kind of maintain their own military forces. So it's, uh, it's a unique thing. And here in Iraq, I've never experienced something like this, but it's going to be interesting. So everything in Samara is going to be controlled directly by this militia. There's not, like, the, the checkpoints that we go through are going to be run entirely by the militia. There won't be Iraqi government uh, soldiers there. It'll be just them. I'm going to show you guys as much as we can and uh, tell you all about it. All right, guys, we just made it through checkpoint number one. That checkpoint, since we're still on the outskirts of Baghdad, was controlled by the Iraqi central government. But I believe that from here on out, we'll be kind of transitioning into militia-held territory. Hannah? Huh. Our, our driver is just pointing out the window and saying, Daesh, Daesh, which is the Arabic abbreviation for ISIS. They're not here now, but you can see a bunch of buildings with, like, bullet holes and bombed-out buildings. It's pretty, pretty surreal to see some of these buildings that have clearly been hit by airstrikes and drone strikes and just flattened like the stuff you see on the news. It's, it's unbelievable. driver just keeps tapping me and pointing out the window again and again and again. And just driving along this highway on both sides, there's just so... Look over there, oh my gosh. There's so many buildings. It's just rubble, yeah. It's uh, also worth noting that the highway we're currently driving on between Baghdad and Samara used to be referred to as the Highway of Death after the 2003 invasion and all the way through the ISIS times because of all the IEDs and the attacks that would occur along here. Obviously now it's much safer, we wouldn't be going, but uh, yeah, like I said, it's, it's just very, very interesting to, to be in this place where so much of this recent history and conflict happened only a few short years ago. 
Okay guys, so I think we just made it through the main checkpoint into Samara. They were asking us and specifically me about America a lot of questions. Like, you're American, where in America do you live? And I had to like explain with Google Translate. I don't really live in America right now, but my parents live there. They asked like, so you're just tourists? And we were like, yeah, 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 just tourists. And they said, okay. It was kind of funny because after they asked me where I'm from in America, then they said, one guy was like really funny and started laughing and was like, America good, America good, Texas. So it was kind of, oh, okay, we're passing something real quick. There's more soldiers here, just so you know. Alrighty guys, we just went through another checkpoint that was arguably more, uh, not intense, but intensive in terms of the questions they asked. They're like, where are you going? I said, we're going to the minaret. They said, only the minaret. They said, yes, yes, yes. They actually looked at me at one point and said, Muqtad al-Sadr, which is the leader of this militia. And uh, and they just said like, Tamam. And I was just like, yup, Tamam. <laughs> like, good. And they were like, okay. It was funny because they were asking a lot of questions, but they were being very friendly, smiling. They actually took a picture with Janet, <laughs> or yeah, a video. They took a video. <laughs> yeah. They were like, let me speak English, where are you from? And I'm like, Shakumako. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it didn't feel sketchy or unsafe at all, really. And at the end, they said, okay, you are welcome in Samara. We're here to protect you, and we're just calling the security service. So they called, they were on several calls, and, and we heard them say, Amriki, Irlandia, which is like American and Irish. And uh, they actually took our passports and gave us like a like a thing to pick it up. So that's about it. I don't know. This <laughs> there were big guns, but they were also very friendly. It, it was it was totally totally smooth. Just some questions and and we're onward. I mean, to be honest, I get interrogated more going back to the United States these days with all the places I've visited. Well, you will after going to Iraq. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Needless to say. So I think we're in now, and we're going to minaret. the minaret. Yalla. There it is, guys. Wow. Definitely the tallest building here, I believe. All right, just as we're arriving to the minaret, we just ran into another checkpoint and they had us pull over again, as they've had us do in all of them. Um, the, by the way, these checkpoints have been like no more than a minute between one another leading into the city. So this is the third one now, like directly on the edge of the city. Just chilling at the checkpoint, guys. It is so hot, shocker. Are you guys surprised by this point in this uh, Iraq series? But you can see the minaret right across the way and it's a beautiful spiral structure. And we're gonna hopefully be going all the way up to the top. Probably going to fry. Yeah, gonna sweat <laughs> like crazy. <laughs> okay guys, we uh, made it into the site of the minaret. I will go over there and check it out and show you guys in one minute. Just wanna let you know how that last checkpoint went. Whereas the other two were, were relatively straightforward, this one, not so much. Still totally friendly though, I wanna make that clear. It wasn't scary in any way, it wasn't threatening in any way. They just had a lot of questions at this one. So <laughs> we were sat there and then all of a sudden a pickup truck came and like five guys in army uniforms came out. And by the way, when I say army uniforms, these are militia members. So they're wearing like kind of camo gear without many insignias on it, so it's kind of informal. They started asking us a lot of questions. Why are you here? What are you doing? Again, pretty friendly. And uh, I told them we were YouTubers, which in hindsight was kind of a mistake maybe, because then they started asking a lot of questions like, you're media professionals, you work for media company? And we were like, no, 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 it's just, we're just tourists, it's just for fun. They started calling a bunch of people and were like, uh, blah, 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 YouTube, YouTube. And, and that was like the biggest obstacle, I think, unfortunately. But then we started showing them our channels. I showed them I've been to Egypt, Sudan, Saudi Arabia, and they were like, oh, okay. They started actually watching some of our videos. Janet did the same thing. And by the end of it, <laughs> the militia guy had jumped in the front seat next to me and FaceTimed one of his friends. And I was talking to his buddy on FaceTime. Another guy FaceTimed his wife and was FaceTiming with Janet. And they were just looking through all our pictures and videos and like laughing and, and it was really, really funny. It was like, I don't even want to use the word sketchy because it really wasn't, but at first it was like a lot of military guys and a lot of guys in uniform with guns and things, but it totally just kind of dissolved into this like friendly banter stuff. So we've just now arrived at the site of the minaret. We paid 25,000 Iraqi dinars to get in, which is about 17 US dollars. Let's go take a look at it. It's absolutely stunning. 
All right, guys, so behind me is the Great Mosque of Samara. At the time of its construction, it was the largest mosque in the entire world. Shismak. Shismak. Nardis? It's me, Douglas. <laughs> Where do you live? Uh, in Baghdad. In Baghdad. Baghdad, huh? We came from Baghdad today. Welcome, welcome, Thank welcome. You. <laughs> Say hi. 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 Hello. Hello. Hi. You're cute. Hi. <laughs> And you speak very good English. To an Iraq. Oh, thank you. We love Iraq. Yeah. Yes, we love America. Iraqi people. <laughs> thank so you. Nice. Thank you. Yes. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. Oh, thank you so much. Shukran. <laughs> Too nice. <laughs> Shismak. Payuna. Maymune. Ha, huh, and you? Al Kansa. Al Kansa. Ah, nice to meet you. Nice. Thank you so much. Guys, this family that we just met here at the entrance to the mosque, to the minaret, is so sweet, so kind. You guys are so generous and, and kind. <laughs> they've Thank just you. invited us to sit with them and eat a little bit and give us water and everything. So kind. Thank you. This is amazing. Our drivers are like, what the <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> How old are you? Huh? How old? <laughs> How many years are you? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're too you, have, kind. you have enough, are you sure? Yeah. Oh my god. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> You're too generous. Really? I'm thank thank you. You. See, that's you. Enta. Enta. I would be sure, sure. Yalla, go me. Hey, Mona. Go me, Yalla. Go me. Yalla. Go me. Will you go up? Will all of you go up or no? No, no. No? No. Just staying here. No. <laughs> okay, we will wave to you from up up there. <laughs> thank you so, so much. Yeah, thank you so much. So nice. <laughs> thank you. So guys, this minaret is 52 meters or 171 feet tall. It's massive. And besides that amazing family that we were just with, who were the sweetest, kindest people ever, uh, it's pretty much deserted. So we're gonna walk up and there are no railings or anything to be seen here. If you step wrong, you're gonna fall to your death. So <laughs> we'll be careful, but we're gonna begin the trek to the top of the minaret. Now I'm ready. Here we go, y'all. There is one railing that you can hold. I'll probably be hanging onto this in about two seconds. But over the edge, oh God, I'm already scared and we've gone up like five feet. It literally dropped straight off. Wow, oh my gosh. Hey! <laughs> there they are. I think the mosque was destroyed at some point in history, so the minaret is the most preserved part. You can see where it would have been. It's massive, 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 massive. So summer is actually a pretty big city. You can see it here. Pretty good view of the city. The view is insane. Oh 
god, okay. This is officially scary. I'm going to sit and scoot towards the edge so I don't... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh. What? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, scary. Wow. They've actually got a railing at this tiny little section right at the top, but literally none of the rest of it. I wonder why they've even bothered. <laughs> so here it is, guys. Better view of the city now. Got the beautiful golden domed mosque there. And the whole surrounding landscape. Bye bye! <laughs> Ma salama! <laughs> Shukran! Okay. Let's go up. The final ascent. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> 360 view, oh my gosh. You can see everything. Pretty good, huh? Bad, bad. Cuisine. Guys, it's quickly becoming a bit of a full house up here. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how much room there is. We made it. We made it. <laughs> Woohoo. How you feeling? Oh, so awesome to make it up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit scary, not going near the edge. This is one of those moments you're just like, am I actually here right this now? This is happening, yeah. Yeah, is this happening? where we are. Where we are. The area. By the way, you can see some checkpoints from up here. Right there is the one that we were at for a while where they're asking us all about YouTube. And then just so you can see how close they are. Just down the road where it curves there. Uh, right there. There's another checkpoint. And the other one is just, I think, a little bit further down the road. Oh man, you're so close to the edge. Don't fall. All right, I'm so afraid of heights, but I'm gonna crawl to the edge. Ow, it hurts to crawl, it's so hot. Okay, here's what it looks like. Ow, 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 ow. Oh my gosh. All right, about 10 minutes up there is enough roasting in the sun, so we're heading back down now. Let's go. Assalamu alaikum. Shakumaku. Arabi shwe shwe. Ah, it's nice up there. Cool, come on, yeah. Very good. Enjoy. Masalam. <laughs> what? Manai? Is uh an Amriki? Amriki? I won. Tourist. Very, very good. What's your name? I'm Abdurazak. Abdurazak? Yes. Who are you? My name Douglas. Douglas. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. <laughs> Take care. Just so you know, by the way, guys, if you saw my Basra video, our guides told Jay and me not to mention that we were American or British because some people might be upset about that. I actually asked him where else would it be a problem to say you're American, and he said, well, Samara definitely was his response. And while I'm sure there are some people that might be bothered by it, I think this video kind of speaks for itself. Everyone we've met, that beautiful family down there who's so kind, so generous, and all these people passing by us, so friendly. So it just goes to the same point again and again and again, which is that most people everywhere are so incredible, so welcoming, and just kind. That was awesome. Very cool uh, experience climbing up there, but I think the best part was meeting that family. Yeah, it was so sweet. All right guys, so we just came down. We just left the, the site of the minaret, and actually as soon as we got down, there was a militia guy there that's kind of, I guess, guarding the, the site of the minaret, and he invited us into the office. There were a couple other guys. They gave us water, they let us wash our faces with all the sweat, and then he actually asked us. He used my phone to translate and said, do you feel safe here? How do you feel that the, the militia, which he wrote the name of it, and I forget it, but I'll put it right here on the screen. Um, how do you feel that it protected you? Do you feel safe here? And we're taking care of you and, and, and making sure you stay safe, basically. And then after that, he actually recorded a video and asked us <laughs> our opinions of the militia on camera. So 
maybe it's a little PR or something, but to be honest, it was a genuine answer, which is that we felt very, very safe and, and, and totally comfortable, and he was super friendly and jolly and like goofing and laughing with us, so I don't know. I, I, some people are probably going to comment on, on videos like this and be like, oh, you're so full of it, you're whitewashing it, you're just saying everything's safe. But, uh, like, I'm, I'm being honest, I haven't felt uncomfortable here. Like, there was the checkpoint where they asked a lot of questions and stuff, and a lot of army guys and a lot of guns, but it was never threatening, never scary, never unsafe. So, that's my honest impression. Alrighty, guys, and just like that, we have our passports back. They're all set, had no big problems at all and uh, I think we're on, on the way back to Baghdad, pretty much. Alrighty guys, we have made it back to Baghdad safe and sound. That was super fun, super interesting experience and meeting that family and, and, and all the people that we met in summer was just an amazing experience. So I'm off now to meet up with a friend of mine, a local Iraqi girl, and we're gonna get dinner and maybe take a look at Baghdad by night. So that's gonna be coming up next after this video. If you wanna keep up with my travels in real time, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm constantly posting updates and doing live streams and all sorts of fun stuff there. And if you're enjoying these videos, please, please, please do consider subscribing. It really helps me out. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.